with y'all, man. It's tomorrow one two three T, and we're back with another anime vanguards video. And this man John Morant went crazy. He got the rest of the evil materials, and he evolved Egress for us to showcase. So as I see right here, we have evolved Egress, man. This junk looks beautiful, bro. Let's go ahead and go over here to the view. Boom. Look at that. We have a shiny evolved Egress Elite Knight. It looks beautiful with Monarch, bro. I am really excited. So make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. All that good stuff, man. My Discord is down in the description below. If y'all want to join it, see your luckiest clips and anime vanguards, I will be dropping that video tomorrow. This is perfect right here. He got him locked up. We got to make sure you lock that up, my boy. We got to lock him up. He also has a cosmetic, which is really cool. Boom. Let's go and equip that cosmetic right there. That is actually beautiful. Let's stop dancing for a second. Hold on. Let's stop dancing. Boom. That is beautiful right there. That boy John Morant has cooked up. Look at this right here. Nice little 360 on the cosmetic, bro. This is beautiful. All right, y'all know the drill, bro. We ain't gonna waste too much time, bro. Let's get straight into it, infinite, bro. And let's get straight into it, man. This is amazing right here. This man John is dedicated to anime vanguards, bro. Vanguards is peak, bro. I don't know. If y'all sleeping on vanguards, bro, make sure y'all start playing anime vanguards because it is peak right now. It is literally peak, bro. They got a lot of good mechanics, a lot of fun mechanics and stuff like that, bro. I know I'm glazing, but the game is amazing, though, bro. I love this game, bro. I spent too much money already in the game just to drop. And I don't spend too much money on uh, tower defense games and stuff like that. Because I be broke, but, man, I actually spent money on this, which is crazy, bro. It's crazy. All right, boom. Planet dynamic. Look at that. Let me go ahead and mess with the settings real quick. The reason why I mess with the settings is because he plays on whatchamacallit. He plays on mobile, so I know he be dropping the settings. All right, that's good. That's good. He keep the audio up. I'll leave that alone right there. Boom. I mean, I, yeah, I messed with the scale earlier, too. Yeah, I'm definitely. I'm sure he did that, too, yeah. All right, boom. But look how beautiful this cosmetic is, bro. That is so tough. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and place him right here. Let's go ahead and place him right there. We're going to go ahead and do the same strategy we did last time. I'm going to go ahead and time lapse in a second. And then, like I said, once we max him out, we're going to showcase fully evolved Monarch Shiny Egress. All right, time lapse in three, two, one. All right, it is showtime, and like I said, man, shiny evolved Monarch Egress, bro. Let's see what he can do. Boom. On placement, he's doing 7K, bro, every six seconds with 24 range. You love to see it. What's his passive? Okay, damage plus 40% when dealing damage to a boss. He has the strongest shadow, plus 30% and minus 10% SPA, and he's immune to stun. That's tough. Shadow Commander, damage and range 20% for 70 seconds after a shadow enters this unit's range. I wonder if that's Sun Jin Woo. I heard some people say if you put Sun Jin Woo beside him, he buffs him. So if that's a, if that's a mechanic in the game, that'll be really cool. Let's go ahead and spectate him really quickly. Boom. He got the same little slash. This time he should have a different move. That's so beautiful. I love to see that. That's so beautiful, bro. With the crown of purple, bro. He just got the he got the vibes, bro. Right? It's just so tough, bro. The purple looks so good with the crown and stuff like that. It's tough. That's mad tough. Like I said, it's really tough. They cook with this. They really cook. I right, let's go ahead and upgrade him. Not too expensive at all to upgrade. Upgrade two, he's already doing 15k. Upgrade three, boom. He has Commander Slash right there. Does 18K. He has that nice little circle that we seen the first time. See the move again. Hold on, let me spectate him really quickly. Nice little spectate. Boom. Let's see the slashes one more time. Let me click off of that. I want to see the slashes. Come on. Hey, cook up. Eager's cook up. Boom. You love to see it. You love to see it. He's not multi-hit yet, but let's go ahead and upgrade him a little bit more. He does attack every 5.6 with 33 range, which is OP. Boom. A couple more upgrades. This time he gets Shadow Fall Slam. All right, boom. You love to see it right there. 27K every 4.9 seconds. Oh, my goodness. This man's OP. Yo, he's actually OP. I'm not going to lie. He's actually OP. Spectate him. Boom. We got Vegeta over here with his monologue. Go ahead. I am the almighty Prince Vegeta. All right, go ahead. Boom. 
It's still a single hit, though. I thought it would be multi-hit. I think Sun Jin Woo's multi-hit, which is interesting. Y'all let me know down in the comment section below. If you play Sun Jin Woo him, does he buff him? Y'all let me know. Y'all let me know. All right, boom. Let's upgrade him a little bit more. Now, I think that was his new move that he got to as well. He gets Shadows Embrace. Okay, cool. See what that move does? Boom. Look at that. Full AoE. This man is busted. This man is busted. Oh, my God. This man is busted. Upgrade 9, he becomes a monster. This man is as strong as you. Oh, my God. He's a monster, bro. Do y'all see all that? He's definitely multi-hit. He's definitely multi-hit. Oh, my God. He's a monster. How, how fast is he attacking? Every six seconds? That multi-hit is insane, though. He's definitely multi-hitting. Because when enemies spawn in, he's still killing them after they walk in the trail. So he's multi-hit. This man is busted. Look at that. Look at that. This man is busted. No, this man is, this man is insane right here. He's insane. Okay, let's go ahead and max him out. Boom. And he still has more damage to go. Fully maxed out. He's doing 61K Full AoE every six seconds with 39.2 range. This man is a monster. Like I said, this is Shiny Egress. I don't know if Shiny units in this game give any damage boost or anything like that, but this man is mad OP, bro. Y'all should definitely put him on the team, bro. He's an amazing unit, bro. This man is insane, bro. A little bit pricey, though, to max out, but like I said, he's multi-hit. He's full AoE, bro. Any unit that goes full AoE is already a blessing. It's already a W unit off the rip. But multi-hit on top of full AoE is insane. Like I said, his SPA isn't bad. His damage is insane. His range is really good as well. Almost being 40 range, which is amazing. Let's go ahead and do that again. Let's see how much it costs to place. I wouldn't probably be able to max him out again, though. Let's see. He costs a good bit to max out, though. I just want to see really quickly one more time how much it costs to let you. Let's do that. Hold on. How much it costs to get him. And like I said, he's only level 43. So that's really good. 1,500. Okay, 2,500. 4,000, 5,000, 7,500. Yeah, so he is a bit expensive, but he can't get his damage up. 10,000, 11,000. Okay, okay. Yeah, so he is a little bit expensive to upgrade, but like I said, if you can get him all the way upgraded and stuff like that, this is just wave 14 anyways. So he probably do good somewhere in the middle of the game. I don't think, I wouldn't classify him as an infinite unit, but he is really busted and he does take a minute to cook up. But like I said, once he gets to cooking, Hey, you got he you see he got the fortunate farm over here, bro. He got the golden farm over here, so he cooking, bro. He got the money for it. So yeah, he could definitely get him maxed out before it ends the game. Like I said, boom. Upgrade nine, he becomes a monster. So that's not too bad at all. Like I said, as long as you get fortunate, don't spend on your legendary units or nothing like that. Spend on your mythic units first. Once you get monarch, then you go for your uh golden speed cards. But like I said, W Job Morant, man. Like I said, make sure y'all like up the video, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff, bro. I'm locking in with Anime Vanguards, bro. We are back, bro. We are so back. But it's tomorrow, one, two, three, T, and I'm out.